color does not function alone. One color doesn't mean anything. Color is about the interaction of color. So it's extremely important not just to think of how many colors I have, but how do they interact on each other? Because certain colors will make other colors do other things. There's, there's two kinds of color. There's, there's additive color, which is what the Impressionists used, did. They put a blue next to a yellow, and your eye turns it green. That's additive color. There's a thing called subtractive color, which uh, means that if you put a red on top of the green, the red becomes more red, and the green becomes more green because they are opposite, you know. And then you have to figure out what kind of color attracts you. I mean, what floats your boat? Maybe you like very intense colors. Maybe you like very pastel colors. When I have students, I, I ask them why they're taking the class and what they're hoping to get in their photograph. And a great many of them who are more articulate than the others will talk about feeling and emotion and that they they don't, they don't just want to take pictures that are pretty or graphically interesting, but they want to take pictures that make people feel something. And that is in all areas. I mean, I, my motivation is really terribly unsophisticated. It's basically, oh, look at the great color, and I'm going to shoot it, and that's it. I don't make the color, I don't create the color, I don't do anything but react to the color. And I think that what makes people feel something is only if you feel something. So you have to, you have to in some way get your thoughts in, and your feelings into their head. And if you do that and you're successful, then your pictures won't be on the surface. They'll really feel something about the picture. You just have to choose the thing that moves you because, I mean, you have to have fun. You have to do the things that you love. When I see color that moves me, that's when I photograph. And so color for me exists and there's nothing to do about it. The only thing that one has to do about color is to learn what kind of color you like, what color does. If you're in a green room and you look at white, it looks magenta. So everything is relative to everything else in terms of color. The eye becomes acclimated to color. So that if you are driving in the Lincoln Tunnel and they have yellow bulbs up, that's fine. And then they turn to blue and you say, oh my God, it's blue. But then after you've been there a while, the eye acclimates to it again. You have to have a frame of reference to know what color really is, is doing. If, if your monitors and your laptop and your computer that somebody else is using and working with you, if they don't agree with each other, you're going to have a lot of this. It's not the color I want. Well, what color do you want? Well, I'm seeing it on my computer. Yeah, but my computer is different. So that, then the war starts. And it's really important that you both be playing from the same chart. You, know, you both be uh, agree. You must agree on what a red is. And if you get outside of the parameters on one device and you're not outside of the parameters on the other device, that makes war. So to that degree, it's, it's, it's really important that the things do match each other. I get very emotional if the color doesn't match on the different devices, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm.